Hi folks, it's Adrian Zdunchuk, CMT Chart and Market Ignition, and this is a quick, spontaneous, kind of like a video chart review of Bitcoin against dollar, one daily chart. Daily chart on Bitstamp because it's actually game time. It's game time. It's a potential breakout uh, breakout play. And this breakout is actually has been going in this consequent, subsequent tendency of the market going up, right? We marked a low at 49,500, that we marked a high at 65,000. Then we went up, went down for a higher low, 50 to 500s, uh, climbed higher for 66, 500s with an actual close above this level several times, right? That made it a little bit more significant. We had a little bit of a roll down towards a lower, higher low. And that's a question mark, whether that's a higher low or not for, not for the sake of for the time being, yes. And we are looking at this actual uh, conjunction or compression between the 200 day B pro trend line and the 200 day B pro, not B pro, 200 day simple moving average right there, right? The simple moving average is insensitive to the recent data. The B pro trend line is a little bit more sensitive to the recency. It's recency biased, although it's also incorporating a little bit more of the recent movements and giving them more weight towards it rather than uh, the later movements that matter, uh, arguably less. So, uh, all things concerned, we have the sequence of higher highs and higher lows. The volatility here is not really rampant. It's not really crazy, right? But, uh, well, that's how reversals are formed, right? Slowly and consistently and consequently, especially after 210 days of correction or so, right? Ever since we marked a high of 74,000 and we marked low 45, 49 and 500 on the Bank of Japan news for market, UK 25 to 25 crash back then. So all things concerned, all in all, we're looking at a decent case of higher highs and higher lows, right? It's yes, we are in the corrective move. We are in the corrective tide between 49,574K. So anything between is basically consolidation. Consolidation means less volatility, means limited uh, range bound capacity, and also means a little bit more uncertainty. And the closer we are to the potential resolution of this entire uh, formation of this pattern of this corrective tide, well, the more anticipation we're going to see and the anticipation tends to basically push the markets higher, right? So if we push higher, if we break through and if we close a decently closed, decently bullish candlestick above this 200-day simple moving average, right? We actually bounced off the area of 200-day B pro trend line. Now we are facing this potential resistance, this overhead resistance of order clustering from the people taking, uh, taking a little bit of a bearish conservative stance not believing or disbelieving that the Bitcoin is going to pull through and follow through to the other side of the 200 day simple moving average. Because when it does, we may actually, well, expect and anticipate that a higher high of 65, 66, 500 is going to be tested. And if it, that's the case, then just maybe if we close and continue this pattern, this consequent consistent pattern uh, again, then potentially we are heading for the next overhead resistance of seventy thousand dollars. That is a round magical number, round, round the magical number, uh, magical number because we tend to give it magical thinking, and because basically we would expect that magical round numbers sixty thousand, sixty five thousand, fifty thousand, forty, seven hundred, and so on, are going to have uh, a little bit more meaning in people's minds rather than sixty nine thousand nine fifty five. Uh, they are all above the same number, so in people's minds. Just because they're easy to remember, in May turn, that is actually going to self-fulfill and become a self-fulfilling prophecy. 70K actual resistance there, resistance area before, significant magical number, round number, and an actual logical milestone for Bitcoin to break in an overall bullish October that returns 22% on average with November ahead, uh, 42%. Quarter for a 50% conservative stance, potential upside ever since the October 1st, right? And we opened basically around uh, 60,000. So 60,000, if we take a 60,000 toll and put it 50% up, and it's going to land us basically anywhere towards 90K, right? And this 90,000 dollars is going to be the potential next resistance or next next major, major extension of the market. All in all, there is also a quick highlight and shout and appreciation to our incredible team at the Verbness because we've been working very hard. Our team has been really pushing a lot of, a lot of incredible updates and teams uh, and team calls and official calls and official plays. And uh, this is just to remind that tomorrow is actually the last day of our 60 day campaign. And uh, that means basically that you're free access to premium services, just like we had, like with those VIP calls, mentorship, uh, live sessions, live trading webinars, and so on. 
that it all ends, right? And uh, the core origin of that entire offer 60 day campaign was uh, to, uh, well, to help you guys get back on your feet basically after Bitcoin nuked back then in August, right? Just like I said, the Bank of Japan, their massive, massive crisis, massive crash on Nikkei 225, the worst crashes in the market rotations basically in, in the last uh, 40, 50 years. And that was our special offer to help you guys get back on your feet. And if you want to take opportunity of this special offer, we are actually going to have your special link. All you need to do is just link your account to the whoop that we use with a special discount code, 10% on your first payment. And you're going to get access to this trading corner, to this trading room, trading hub, and our premium strategy indicator uh, that actually is used also by me. I use it also on a daily basis and I use it for my trading, for my own visiting and our people do. And don't take just my word for it, 4837R, 48.37R in September generated out of our profit and calls. Uh, 10K account and 2% risk per trade would leave basically uh, $9,000 push, right, in profit. So that's quite a significant push right there. And uh, here is Honorata, 130% gain, uh, sexy orange, shout out for the good, for the good name, 448%. Gain portfolio up 300 in a month, 300% in a month, multiple more calls on the uh, Popcat and so on. So many, many success stories like that in testimonials from our members. Don't miss out. Last day. Go ahead. Check out the link and I'll see you inside.